How you doing everyone? It's Jennifer McCreeth. It is Sunday, February 17th, 2013. I'm in a pretty good mood. I had an amazing, amazing run today. Um, yesterday I could barely take a step. I had such severe pain in my right knee. Uh, see if I can pronounce this right. Ileal tibial band syndrome. Common running injury. Um, usually comes with uh, extreme uh, amounts of distance running. You know, um, a little surprising that this tendon acted up on me given such a small workload as of late, but uh, heck, everything's weak. I haven't done a lot of running for, gosh, almost a year and a half, seriously, and I'm older, I'm heavier. Um, it's to be expected, I guess. When you're 39 years old and you're 100 pounds overweight, you can't just get off the couch and run like you used to. Um, that was yesterday. Today I felt a lot better and I uh, was determined to get out there and have a run no matter what. And off I went. Um, trying to stick with this marathon training program that I've been f attempting to follow to prepare myself for, I guess, a late spring run. Um, I missed last weekend, uh, did not have a long run. Um, wanted to run 25k today, but given my right knee, I figured, you know what, let's let's just go a shorter distance, but at the same clip and just see how we go, how we do. Well, guess what happened? The left knee started acting up. <clears throat> I passed a lot out of my left leg to support a right leg that has a torn ligament in the right ankle. Um, now you got ITV in the right ankle, the right knee, so I guess it's only natural that the left one is going to say, wait a minute here, a um, little plantar fasciitis in the left foot a couple days ago. Um, the muscle above the knee, um, a lot of work. <laughs> it was my left knee that slowed me down, if anything, today. Um, still, I, I pushed on through the pain and I took little stretch breaks now and then when I had to. and. I ran my fastest 15k since October 2011. The time is still pretty slow, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> it was a very well managed run, and uh, I couldn't be happier. And uh, we're getting better. Um, I'm down seven pounds, 2013, in 38 days. It's not too bad. Um, we're getting there. We really are. <laughs> going to be booking Wednesday off work this week and Wednesday next week. Um, partially because I just need time to catch up. Uh, see that messy table right there? Don't want to get too detailed, but there's paperwork. I got a lot of work I got to do. Um, and I need a, a fresh a fresh day and a fresh mind to do that. Um, it's tough to uh, do sophisticated work after you come home from a busy day. So. I'm looking forward to having a couple extra sleep-ins, a couple of productive days of work, and yes, there's going to be some running. Um, absolutely guaranteed. It's a quasi-midweek weekend, and that allows me to have an extra long run. There will be a long run on Wednesday, and I'm really excited about it. And uh, that'll take us into the weekend for another long run, and then the Wednesday ahead, and then the weekend ahead. We're going to have a, a tremendous second half of February. I can feel it, folks. <laughs> Wow! How about it? Jennifer McCreeth in a good mood. Um, I fed the ducks to Burton Pond today, and I also dropped into the animal shelter and had a cuddle with at least 20 different cats. Um, doing much better. Uh, <laughs> let's just hope this... Can't have a video without a cat, can we? Hi, Dan! Hi! Where are you going? Dan. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna, ooh, light bulb, ow, hot, what's that? One should not uh, unscrew a lit light bulb with their bare hands, because they might burn their fingers, that's too dark, isn't it? I can never get the lighting, I've lived here how many years? Still can't get the, the lighting perfect for video, but, uh, yeah, there we are, Jennifer McCreeth. Since we're here, um, there's my lovely posters of the uh, Memorial University Seahawks volleyball team. Um, Valiant effort, but they lost their semifinal game. Uh, I know my last video, I was really excited about their quarterfinal win. Um, 
they uh, they played their hearts hearts out and against the number two team and came up a little bit short. Um, but you know what? That's okay. Um, they put together a, a tremendous effort and a tremendous season under some tough circumstances, and I'm very proud of these girls and uh, proud to call them some of them friends. I had a chance to to meet several of the players uh, that I haven't met yet, and uh, yeah. I guess uh, they inspired me, and uh, now I'm going to try to inspire them right back. If any of you girls are out there watching this, uh, my next marathon's for you. So there you go. Anyway, Jennifer McCreeth uh, saying thanks for watching, and have a great evening.